Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Dravian, radiologist. This is a sonograph radiology training channel. I will present different videos could be benefit for physician and general population. This is the second video about renal calculi and its information has more benefit for general population. In this video, I am going to speak about renal calculi size and I will explain why there is difference in renal stem size measurement between ultrasound and non-enhanced CT. Stem size is an important factor in the clinical management of nephrolithiasis. Non-obstructing renal stones smaller than 5 mm have high spontaneous passage rates and are often managed by observation. Larger stones are less likely to pass spontaneously and thus it is often recommended that patients consider treatment with elective surgery. Underestimation of true stone size may result in observation of a stone that is unlikely to pass spontaneously and possibly may lead to a stone event with severe renal colic pain. On the other hand, overestimation of true stone size could result in surgery for stones that would have passed without intervention. The appropriate choice of diagnostic imaging and the precise determination of stone size during the initial evaluation are critical for clinical decision making and patient counseling. In the United States, CT is the most common imaging modality for renal click and the diagnostic standard for the initial imaging of patients with suspected nephrolithiasis. CT, however, is associated with ionizing radiation exposure and higher cost compared with other imaging modalities. Ultrasound is an alternative imaging technology and is portable, ubiquitous and poses no risk of radiation exposure. But as I explained in the first video, its use in stone management is limited by decreased sensitivity and specificity, user dependency and inaccurate stone sizing. Improvement in the diagnostic accuracy of ultrasound would encourage greater use of ultrasound in the workup of nephrolithiasis. Sometimes patients ask from radiologists why my renal stone size, which you report in ultrasound, differ from what is detected in non-enhanced CT. Really, why there is difference in renal stone size measurement between ultrasound and non-enhanced CT? Ultrasound shows renal stones only as a cosmic line with posterior shadowing, like this image. But it is a stone with a definite volume and has a specific longitudinal diameter, transverse diameter, and also the high. If the stone lies in kidney with its longitudinal diameter and the ultrasound beam radiates from this direction, the stone size would be like this. If the stone lies in kidney with its transverse diameter and the ultrasound beam radiates from the same direction, the stone size would be differ from previous measurement. And if the stone lies in kidney with its high and the ultrasound beam radiates from the same direction, the stone size would be different from two previous measurements. In non-enhanced CT, we can see the stone obviously. We can measure its transverse diameter in axial view, its longitudinal diameter in sagittal view, and its height in crinal view. Also, in non-enhanced CT, we can make a three-dimensional volume rendering image and see the stone in all directions. 
finally the teaching point we can take from this video including the first one stone size is an important factor in clinical management of nephrolithiasis the second one ultrasound is the first imaging modality to detect and size measurement of a stone because it is cheap and also devoid of any radiation hazard to the patient and third one if the clinical physician decides to do any therapeutic procedure like transurethral lithotripsy, extracorporeal shock wave lithotripsy, or open surgery, non enhanced CT is essential and must be done for definite renal stone measurement. In next video about renal calculi, I will explain about radial sand renal stones and I will explain main stone visible in ultrasound and non visible in non enhanced CT. If you like this video, please subscribe this channel. If you, like, if you would like to get notification for the next videos, please press the small bell. And if you have any question or video suggestion, please write in the comments. Thank you for your attention.